Okay. Are you guys going to talk? Use your mouth. I better oh, put a okay. record on. That's where we're at. We have to put a record on. Awkward. Uh, oh, I guess we're just doing the one on the front. Uh, I don't know how the buttons work. Okay, we're going for a little time skip. Hey, we had a call come in. Uh, gotta pause the music. <coughs> Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. It's cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. And I now consider you a friend, my oh, man. Oh, nice. Uh, thanks, friend. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, wow. I used to go by just Wow, big Ricky. surprise. Yeah. Back then, you weren't born Roller Ricky. pretty rough. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. Why are you telling this on the really public radio? I don't or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems and Sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose. His baby, his stroll. <laughs> now, whenever I get down, Good I get luck. down. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, well, man? Doggo. Oh, Aw, oh, hello, Max. Oh. Well, he certainly sounds like a good Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one yeah, who rescued me. most people the rescues say. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, Wait. a real pro. What? Max can skate? Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. <laughs> Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to read them. Uh... Maxie, sounds like a really special boy. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing it's an out, hour's my man. The dog, huh? You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating's got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Sure. This sounds groovy. I don't know what this is. You're gonna love this next track. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my face, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, th that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better we didn't even get it. the full song for, um, 
So sorry, Roller Ricky. We we don't get a full song because we have another caller. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing oh, okay. Oh, it's Terry. We saved her. I made it home safe. Terry! Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though we lost Jimmy's Jimmy. Jimmy's not the one that I messed up with. Jimmy was nowhere know. to save. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't... Well, why am I... Why am I... Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? Oh yeah, the killer what he did. let Carrie go. Why let me go? Uh... I don't know. Maybe he only wanted to hurt the pranksters. I... Maybe. Did he just think everyone was making fun of him? Did he always hate these hazing rituals? I, I mean, if he did, why wait all these years to... Why do this now? These stupid hazing nights. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just Carrie, need to hold on. Carrie, you also need therapy. Watch the friend die. Hey, Forrest, uh, could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Where's Carrie. Bla oh. We did this earlier, but okay. Ah. There we go. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, something to consider. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Uh I don't know if that's signaling for us to go do something. Oh, time to, uh... There we go. Oh, maybe we should close the door. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, does this lock? No. Okay. That, that was an adequate break. Let's go back in. Oh. Let's close the bathroom door. What? Doors don't work like that. Okay, sure. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty. We could run another segment or... Scratch that, Forrest. We have a caller. Okay, stop record you're through to 189.16 the scream what's your emergency hello again for oh, that call with the teens was awful those poor kids still i'm i'm glad the girl didn't get hurt thanks for your concern are you in trouble what's on your mind i wanted to ask you again to play my song for us you said you were going to play it but you didn't your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn, and I wanted to ask you again to play my tune for us. Long ride home? You know, on the Peggy said she threw outside the window? Uh, we don't have it. But we don't have that song. As you just said, Peggy threw it out the window. But, Forrest, you do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take you a second to grab it. Like a trap. What the heck? Uh... Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's... Something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. 
Oh, but I think you will. Forrest? Peggy, I'm... I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's gonna be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest. And you'll find out. Don, are you the killer? <sighs> well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. Here comes one of my favorites. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about- I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth- Uh... I don't know, whatever. All right, I'll do it. You're a oh. good man, Forrest. Talk I'll slide you the key to the, to the fire fire. door. Wait, wait, our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it, uh, you know, I never thought about it, but, yeah. We well, should talk why to Reggie it, about uh, Yeah, later. what? Anyway, I'll hold the fort down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. 189.16, The Screw, with me, Peggy. Why, why is there a key for our fire... Escape. I'm not getting Where's in there the today. fire escape? Uh... It's gotta be on the first floor, right? Because it wouldn't make sense if it was... Uh, I mean, I guess there could be a ladder. Check the first floor. Yeah, here it is. This feels like the intro of the game. You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Out here. Why are you so loud? In the open. Hello? I guess it's the intro of the game. God. Where? Where is this record? It's locked. Though. Here now. No. Is it on the mattress? In here, or I don't. This mattress. Is that it? Long ride home. Yep. Here it is. Okay. Long ride home. We're about to be attacked, right? Why is the screen looking weird? We... Of course, it locks behind me. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. Fantastic. <laughs> Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. A, a door, an elevator, the basement? something. I, I don't like this. I don't like this. Where's <laughs> here? I don't... Is that not open? Fright elevator only. I mean, there's a lot of fright right now. You can... Getting my lid that I had in the intro. I... I don't like this. Some new fuses. I don't know why. I, I maybe that's relevant later. Changing the fuse. Uh. 
basement. I only... The only thing that looked remotely like a basement I could enter is that door over there, but I didn't see a way to open it. Oh, wait, this button? No. Yes. And oh. that's broken too. Only the best for KFAM. See if I can fix this. Looks like a oh, power now issue. I have to mess with the fuse box. I should check the fuse box. You need to be spending your hands. It's thought to be holding the record. Yeah, that would be excessive. I put it in my pocket or something. I don't know. A bag of holding. Nah, uh, that's not right. Do the fuses add up properly? I don't. Oh, I want this green one, right? Looks like I'm gonna have to hunt around some I? new Do fuses. Do I need new, more fuses? I think I need more fuses. Where where do I get more fuses? Is this fuse? That is a fuse. Why won't you let me pick you up? There we go. Is there some puzzle with the letter, the numbers on them? Where's another fuse? You know, if I was you, Forrest, I would have propped the door open before going out, just in case. Because already it was a dumb thing that their fire escape locks, so I wouldn't trust anything with it. There. Uh, it's not what I want to press. No! Oh no. I don't know where to go. Phew. I'm trying to move it. How do I move to the other hand? I think it was one of the LRR. There it is. Good thing everyone leaves their excess electricals in fuse alley. Yeah, I, that's why I'm like, why are the just the fuses just lying around out here? Mouse trap. Okay, I don't need that. But wouldn't mind that as a weapon, though. Okay, uh... thing is, these are different numbers on them, and I don't know if that means something. Oh, wait, there's something over here. 70. Oops. I need to switch to that. 5, 10, 45. That's not right. These stand up to 70, I think. There must be more fuses. Uh, fuses, where are you? If I was a fuse, where would I be? Probably not in an alley. Because that's a dumb spot for a fuse. What is this? A20. This might be all I need. Oh, wait, what is this? Just in case. A5. No, I don't need another A5. Uh. Not 
Doesn't seem like enough. That's 60. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's not enough. Anything special there? No, it doesn't look like it. I think I just need one more fuse that's a little bigger. Uh, where are you? Where are you? A30, that's enough. I have to do some rearranging, but it's enough. Can you get rid of that? Oh, and pull it down. Bingo! I don't need this. I don't think I need this. Here. Oops. Let me go in here. I could probably survive that fall. I mean, that's. I mean, probably survive that fall. That's like a foot, maybe two. <laughs> if you couldn't survive that, you maybe you don't deserve to. What the heck? <laughs> Nothing in there. I don't know why I'm looking. It looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive. Yes, but Clive is suspicious. Excuse me? This is definitely... Clive is definitely the killer. Oh I don't want anybody knowing I'm in here. What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. Donations to help. Oops. Chuck Brody, former Gallows High Football Captain Chuck Brody, suffered a career ending injury as a victim of the festival disaster late last year. To help him on his road to recover, we are buying him some lottery tickets, hoping he gets lucky and can get back his feet, pun not intended. Drop tickets in the bucket below, thanks. That's a horrible donation. Uh, big wheel breaks free, 15 injured, who is to blame? Class of 69. That's a lot of names. Hi, Chuck. One, Chuck Brody. To Kim Walker, four and three Rebecca Allen, four Aunt Williams. Let's see. Ah. Uh, marriage announcement. Marriage to Kim Walker. Peter Stein. It's very weird random stuff. Uh Briggs Fallon bus. Uh, these are, I don't know if I need to read all of these. I do know that this is terrifying, but what do I need here?
Mr. Janitor, I definitely was not in your murder closet. Heck. Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. Uh oh. I'm worried the controller's about to die. Is it about to die? It's pretty low. My other controllers are all charging, so I guess we'll wait till it dies. Where I came from. Up here. God, please let this be the last locked door. <sighs> something there was, must have been a key in the janitor's murder closet. Unless is that a key? No, that's just fingerprints or something. Okay, back into the murder closet. Oh, so I need to use that. Do I need to use that? Oh, there's a key. Ah, there's the beautiful key. Should be able to get back to the studio now. Okay, can we close this? Can we lock this door? No. Cool. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for... Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. Something did happen. Clive the janitor might be Clive the murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked behind me. So... Okay. 2.40 a.m. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement, made by our creepy janitor, who you think is the creepy whistling oh, man. Oh, I brought this up. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target. That's right. And we've got to find him. You said there are four locations listed there too. The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. What's tonight? What's the dating game? You know what? Yes, I need help. I don't understand what I'm looking for. How's it going? Uh, it's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out yeah. who the next target is. There's four yeah. locations, right? Four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? Whatever you can offer. Uh, yes, please. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Try grouping the notes by who they're about. 
You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Maybe that will help rule out potential targets first. Got it. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. Okay, so... Uh, 1970... 1977 1969 that happened first making a timeline so this is first 16 was that 1969 yeah nice uh then there's a 1970. That is that doesn't have a date. Nineteen May 12th, that's July 19th, so this one is first. This is awful with a controller. Okay. Tuesday the first is Sunday the 6th. Seventy two, dang it. Well, this is a nineteen eighty seven on it. Seven, right? And this is seventy. I hate the controls for this. This is nineteen eighty four. between these two. This is 1969, which is the same as that. Uh, that doesn't have a date. Sixty-nine. So nineteen sixty-nine grad the graduating class. Keith Walker, Marie Campbell, Stanley King, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, Aunt Williams, Billy Price, and Chuck Brody. Uh And there's the game day kickoff. Uh, Power Station had hired two new hires, 12 twin new hires, 12 were students. Gallows Creek. Uh, justice for the victims of the Big Wheel, I don't know when that is. Uh, Sheriff Matthews warns citizens look at suspicious behavior. 
Her 70 will stop. Uh, then Kim Walker and Peter Stein got married. Kim Walker's one of these, right? Yeah. Those are all on here, right? Yeah. Uh, then a couple years later, the big wheel broke free. Uh, Chuck Brody got injured by the big wheel. Uh, brakes failed on a bus a few years later, killing Rod, Hewn, Steen, P. Steen, K. Steen, and Mildred. Shut down. Informant referred to RA. Is that one of these? Rebecca Allen. Rebecca Allen might have been the informant for the crime, the crime syndicate that was. Uh. Walker recommended a flu shot, and those who were important. Steen's gas repair. Uh, I feel like it's Rebecca Allen because Rebecca Allen betrayed the crime syndicate. But where is Rebecca Allen? Uh. Diary of a car thief. I feel like that might be the person that did it. That betrayed the crime syndicate. Rebecca Allen might be the car thief. Uh, life in the big city. Power station, hospital, trailer park, gas station. So she sold the trailer and went to Manhattan. Huh. I feel like I'm close, but not quite. Disaster would have been a while ago. Oh, what is the date in game? Oh, here we go. Uh, September 3rd, 1987. So... That's May 22nd, that's over a year ago that... 
the car thief sold the trailer. Okay, uh, I think I'm on the right track. I just don't know where she is. Lottery winner. That would be Chuck. Chuck Brody, right? Because Chuck, Chuck Brody got injured. Williams and Junior Engineer. Okay, Aunt Williams caused the accident, the festival accident that got Chuck Brody injured and ended his career. I don't know where it said. Uh, oh yeah, here. They bought lottery tickets for Chuck Brody then. It implied Chuck Brody won the lottery. It was 1972 that the accident happened. Uh... This was 1969. No, oh, this was the kickoff. This was the start of his career. Uh, Kim Walker and Peter Stain got married in 70. Are either of them Kim Walker's improv class of 69? He graduated, this is 69, this is graduation year for him. He was, frick, I can't move, sorry everybody. Uh, okay, former high football captain Chuck. Okay, so he was no longer a high school student when it's his career got, so I guess he probably was a college in college football. That uh, broke free. Mr. Uh, D-Rod and who in P. Stein, K. Stein, wait. Kim Walker would be Kim Stein because she got married. So she died in this accident in 1977. I don't see why she's would be a target. But she's died. She's dead. Kim Stein is dead. Uh... And they stopped that. The car thief. But Kim Walker. I thought Kim Walker was dead. Uh, 
Then, uh... Brody bought the gas station. Wait, what if Brody... If, if Brody is the target, Brody's at the gas station. Possibly. Uh... The engineer responsible for the Gallows Creek. That's, uh... We have that up. Aunt Williams. Seven. Wait, are we in 1987? We're in 1987. Okay, this is dirt. Ow! We are during the safety convention right now. That the mystery speaker is... Aunt Williams. Clive isn't a real name. Clive might be Brody. Got the record on repeat back at the turntables. Yeah, they could deal. <laughs> so, this is the only person I really know where they are right now. I mean, then again, I kind of. I kind of can connect uh, Chuck Brody to the uh, gas station. But, this is going to have Aunt Williams at. Where is this? Where is this at? Uh, Heart Ridge Health and Safety Convention. But where's the convention at? Then this has a... Uh... By the way, if you have any theories there, just let me know. <laughs> this... So Rebecca Allen is almost certainly R.A. The crime syndicate... The car, the car thief that... Betray betrayed the other car, car the group from the car thieves Aunt Williams is almost certainly responsible for the big wheel accident Kim Walker is dead Kim Walker died Kim, Kim Walker married Peter Stein and then died in the bit bus brakes failing it's definitely not Kim Walker. Chuck Brody owns a gas station. <sighs> so Chuck Brody might be at the gas station. I don't know who bought the thing at the trailer park. That's the thing. The only thing I can think of that definitely I know I have a lead on where they are is Chuck Brody gas station. Like... At Williams at the convention, but I don't know where the convention is. Rebecca Allen, it looks like, is in Manhattan. So I'm leaning towards gas station because that's the only one that I know a person is at. Aunt Williams is from the power station. Wait, where is this? What's the convention? Health and safety. I 
don't know if he'd be at the power station. Okay, so really my only thing I'm thinking is gas station. I don't know who would be at the hospital. Or why anybody would be at the power station. And the trailer park seems like it's not relevant anyway anymore. That only leaves the gas station and Chuck Brody. Is it Brody or Brady? Brody. Who bought the gas station. God, I'm going to mess this up. I'm so going to mess this up. Uh... How's it going? Uh... You don't have anything else, right? Uh, it's not going well. I, I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? And four... People. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations, locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? Uh, no. I think I'm that means... Now. Thanks, Peggy. I think no that problem. the only one that we can identify is at one of the four locations is... I mean, Chuck Brody still seems like a stretch, because just because he owns the gas station doesn't mean he's at the gas station. Uh, gas for repair. Yeah, the gas station. Uh, it kept keep you busy on an evening, and it is evening. Yeah, the gas station. We're gonna go with gas station. How's it going? Uh, I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? Spent a long We've time trying to figure this out. Only got one shot at this. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay, name first. Who do you think the target is? Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Uh, the gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. I don't know why he's the victim, but... Hello? Chuck Brody! Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We found a list with your name on it and... Oh, God. It, it's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... Forget? For, forget what? Forget. No, no. Man, I gotta get out of here. All right. I I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck. <laughs> Jeez! It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now. I I is Chuck? I don't know. Hang on, we're getting a call. Hello, Chuck. Chuck! Of course! The whole goddamn oh, I got gas it right. station's gone up. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Why was that the gas station? Yeah. Damn it, that fireball threw me. I've got to get to the hospital. I'm not feeling great. Forrest, man. I can't thank you enough, but... Yeah. I gotta go. Wait, I... Damn it. We lost him. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Here's some music while we regroup here on KFAM 189.16, The Stream. You'll like this next song. <sighs> Mystery deepens. I spent way too long on that one. <laughs> 